Hey everyone, so today on the channel, I'm cracking some packs. Collector boosters, Corset 2021. Look at these, look at these shiny, shiny goodness. And hopefully there's gonna be some shiny, shiny goodness inside it. So my name's Matt, welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, I've been lucky enough, very, very lucky enough that wizards have sent these beauties my way and I'm gonna crack them open up on the channel for you and hopefully you're gonna find some really, really good sweet cards in there. So let me just say, if you haven't checked out my other videos yet, they've been posted over the weekend. Booster box opening, double pre-release pack opening all from Corset 2021. Make sure you go and check that out. There'll be links below and links below for you to go and see this. Without further ado, let's find some shiny goodness. Here we go then, three gorgeous packs. Let's see what we pull. Hopefully something nice. I'm not sure which way round these are going. There is land on top. I'm just gonna make sure they're not backwards, right? They're not backwards. Just making sure that I don't wanna see the rare first particularly. Let's zoom in a bit. Now these are special boosters. Uh, they're obviously a lot more expensive than the usual ones but you get some gorgeous stuff in there. And I'm already looking, there's a line straight down the middle of that foil. So before we get on with looking through this pack, let me just say, you are seeing something different today, the upload time of the videos has changed. 6 p.m. UK time. Go and check the community page so you know when it is and make sure you have that bell ticked so you know when the videos go live. But back to these packs. We have a lovely little dog, shiny dog there. And then we have a jungle hollow, hobble fiend. Look at that, that's gorgeous. I do love foils. I've really got into foils. As my magic life has gone on, I started in Return to Ravnica, I've started to just really appreciate foils. Now, I know we've had problems with some of them bending sometimes and stuff like that, but they, to me, they seem to be getting better. I don't know if you're finding that, but I certainly am. Protégé, Burfus Oak. Then we have an uncommon there, Light of Promise. Oh, it's the best type of land for me to get. You know me, Blue Mage, so I get a lovely Alterna Art Island. And then a full art Shackle Geist. This is a 2-2 Flying Spirit. Can only block creatures with flying. Tap to untap spirits you control. Tap target creature you don't control. Two mana. That is very nice. And then a Foil Krevek the Spiteful. Two double black, three, two. All other creatures. All other. Us other. Other creatures get minus one, one. Then, oh, the bane of my life. If you saw the live stream the other day, I opened my first five packs in Arena and got a play set of Volcanic Salvo. So that is just typical. Then I get a, well, alternate art Chandra's Magma, not a foil though. Teferi's Protégé is the next card. Now, what do we have underneath? We all... Oh, Solemn Simulcram, great for me for EDH. This is a really nice full art card there. Those of you that don't know, it enters the battlefield, you search life for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield, tapped, and when this dies, you get to draw a card. It's a very good staple EDH card. And then I get a foil Basri's Acolyte, which is a nice foil, and then a foil rare, which is Garak's Harbinger. 4-3 uh, Hexproof from Black. I mean, they're just gorgeous. Look at they look at them glisten. Oh, if you're here, you obviously love foils as well. This to me is a really, really sweet card. Uh, deals combat damage to a player, a planeswalker. Look at that many cards from the top of your library. You may have been a creature card or Garrick planeswalker card. Put it in your hand, the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. But for me, it was definitely the solemn simulacrum for me. That is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, I love opening these packs. Right. Let's get on to the second pack of three. What will it be? Well, there's a soldier token on top. Here we go. So let's have a look. And there's still a line down that mark. That's, that's not great, is it? However, there is a line down the center of that, which is a bit of a defect to me. Um, infernal scarring. What do we get? We get blossoming sands as the old gain life one land. Then we've got goblin arsonist. Nice. Dies, you drop one damage to any target. Gorgeous art there. I do like the goblin art there. Oh, Lanamar Visionary. Now, this is really nice. I could see this being played in various decks, and hey, why not just play it in EDH as well? Because it ends the battlefield. It's a mystery of the Lanamar Elf and Elvish Visionary. It's a really cool interaction car there. I think that is pretty sweet. 
Kite Sail Freebooter. And then we get Obsessive Stitcher. A friend of mine would love the foil version of that. Hey, bam. And then, oh, no island this time. I get a swamp, which is probably the second best land for me to pull after island. Bit of a dim ear player here. And then we get Demonic Embrace. Oh, I thought that was the other three mana tutor, Grim Tutor, for a second. But it's Demonic Embrace. Enchant Creature gets plus three, one, and flying. If it's Demon into its other addition types, you may cast Demonic Embrace from your graveyard by paying three life and discarding a card. And you have to pay the other cost as well. Oh, Foil Radder Cart of Keld. Oh, I can see a commander deck being built around this now. So as long as your turn, it has first strike. You may look at the top card of your library any time. You may play land cards from the top of your library. And you pay six, it gets plus XX, where X is the number of lands you control. Voltron style, I think, for this. And it's three mana as well. Well, you know, three mana is pretty slow. For this kind of card, three elf warrior, sweet card, and a foil ruined halo. Some sweet cards in this. I've got no idea on value whatsoever. I think it's very much fluctuated at the start of a new set. Um, I get another Magmut. We don't mind another Magmut. Another Teferi's Protégé. And Basri's Lieutenant was the alternate frame art for this rare. Interesting card. I've been playing with it in standard a bit. It's, it's not been too bad, to be honest. Uh, protection from multicolored. Ends about to put a 1 1 counter on. When Lieutenant or another creature you control dies, if you had a counter on, you get to create a 2 2 Knight. So it's yeah, it's pretty sweet. And a Liliana's Devotee. Zombies you control get plus 1 plus 0. At the beginning of your end step, if a creature died, you may pay 2, put a zombie token. And the last card is Liliana's Steward. I mean, the black colour, they're really nice, aren't they? When you look at Flicker in there, oh, look at the Flicker action. Get that light going in there. Um, card for me, best card for me in that is, well, Ruined Halo, without a doubt. And Radda. Radda is very sweet as well. Oh, one more pack to go. I'm so tempted to buy a booster box of these. So tempted. Just because I love cracking these foils. But, you know... It's tempting. That's all I'm going to say. So does this have, this has the mark down as well? Ooh, I think I'm going to have to let them know about that. It's marked down all down the middle of these. Uh, library lastness. It's just on the top token as well. It's not on anything else, which is, you know, quite interesting. We get Rise Again. 40, 40. Scowled Barons. The lamb is in a different position this time. Oh, it loves giving us a Chandra's Magmut. This time we get a foil version of Chandra's Magmut. Talarian Kraken. Whenever you draw a card, you may pay one when you do put tap, untap, creature. Unsubstantiate. Again, some blue foils here. And it's a plains. Well, I've got Esper now. I got the island, the swamp, and now I've got the plains. And then a full art Joel Rail Moonvali Recluse. One, two, one, and a green. Whenever you draw your second card, you turn, you create a two, three green cat token. Pay six, and to end turn, creature you can show a base pound toughness. XX, where X is the number of cards in your hand. Mix this with a bit of blue, I think. A foil. Full art, Temple of Silence. I mean, it is a beautiful card. I'm just looking at it glistening. That is a beautiful card there. A very nice rare foil peer into the abyss. Ooh, look at that face. Look at that face. Really good in combo meal, that one. Chandra's Pyroling this time. And Liliana's Steward. Grim Tutor. Full art. Not foil, but still a full art Grim Tutor. Very nice card. Search your life for a card. Put the card in your hand and then shuffle your library. You lose three life. Cracking card. And gorgeous art. Non foil. But still, sweet, sweet chicken. We get the foil Liliana Steward. And then Basri Solidarity. That is actually... Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I feel like I could say that about all these cards in these packs. I get very excited about putting these kind of... I love the art on these. I love the foils. You know, these packs to me are really good. You can all question, the, you know, the price of them and everything like that. But I, I, I do... I enjoy cracking these sort of packs. Um... I'm considering getting a booster box. Just considering, considering. I've never bought one before with these, you know, with the collector boosters. Um, but, you know, because always the money's always put me off. Um, but they are something. But this is interesting in, in the old tokens, though. There is a line. It probably can't pick it up in the camera. Um, but there is actually a line 
down the middle there. You might just be able to see it. You can see it just about there. Um, so yeah, that is something that's a bit of a printing problem, I think, with the tokens by the look at it. But all in all, I don't know what the, whether they got the money back or not, but it, 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 you know, if you had got the money and paid for these, I'm not too sure. But they are gorgeous, gorgeous cards. I'm going to be putting these in some EDH decks, definitely pimping them out. So let me just say thanks again to Wizards for sending this my way and opening up on the channel. I love it. I'm very lucky to receive this. And I hope you enjoy seeing the decadent packs. They are gorgeous, foily goodness. Maybe we see some more on the channel very soon. I'll have to wait and see. Anyway, you lot take care. Don't forget to smash the like if you enjoyed today's pack cracking video and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and leaving me a comment. Let me know what you think. Anyway, I'll see you on the next video.